so we have a guest this week. Probably the most well-received guest we've ever had. And the most requested to come back. And the most of requested all to come time. back. Uh, we have Sally LePage somewhere off camera. There she is. Nice. You want a clear space for her? Why are there so Hi. many... Hello. Hello. Oh my god, I'm going in the middle. Yeah. Okay. This is the first time you've been on the actual set, right? It is. Last time we were in some random bar. We, yeah, we Really at, noisy bar as well. It's South by Southwest yeah. 2015. We, we got to ask all of our stupid science questions to you. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I hear you have more. We have more. As if I didn't answer all of your questions the first time. Well, this is questions just answers just raise more questions. Chris mm -hmm. has no questions. Right? Chris's questions were all terrible. <laughs> I, they all got rejected. Which Sally I think looked is... at your questions and said you need to go to the doctor. Yeah, basically. No, and then, and then, and then, well, I only heard one. One of them was like, why? Is toilet paper bad for your ass? <laughs> <laughs> How's that question? So then, so then I said we weren't doing it before uh, we started the podcast. Mm -hmm. I told Chris we were not doing any of his questions. And he said, well, can I still answer them? I have my own theories <laughs> about these questions. So Chris, nobody, that's, that's what the podcast is always for, <laughs> is for talking about. Just tell us about your stuff. personal health problems. Sure. Well, Why no, not? no. I mean, all right. Tell well, the world. So I, I feel like toilet paper <laughs> ends up like <laughs> scratching your butt a lot. There has to be and, a better and, way, right? What well, do you mean scratching you, your butt? Like, all right. Yeah. You cut in your anus? Well, it's just like if you're cleaning your butt and then it's just you keep going back and you're just like going back and going back. That's why I think bidets are so getting so <laughs> popular is because yeah. they don't they kind of bypass the whole like. Well, you just buy better quality loo roll. Oh. I mean, I think I buy pretty nice what toilet do you, paper. What do you buy? I don't know. The it's one. Double? I, double I don't, I, I don't, I don't know the names of it. I just like buy one. That so, it's, but you it's know, not, but you not, know it's good. I know it's good because I don't buy, I don't buy the cheap one. I just buy like whatever one is like nice. The baby wipes. That's another thing. Would That's you not use oh, toilet don't paper. flush baby wipes, though. Do not flush baby wipes. Otherwise, you get fat bergs, which are icebergs made of fat that clog up your sewers. Yes. And people, have to, and people have to go down into the sewers with, like, pickaxes to oh. get rid of the fat. Because when people also pour down animal fat, so, <laughs> like, after a roast, they'll pour all the fat down the drain. It'll solidify <laughs> with all of these baby wipes that have been flushed down the loo. Oh, they mix? And then you <laughs> block the entire sewage system, and this poor guy has to go down okay. and manually release it. I was hoping you would say instead of pickaxes that they had to have, like, blow torches and melt the oh. fat down. <laughs> And just imagining that smell. That is foul. I think the smell is bad enough as it is. Yeah, that's awful. Well, <laughs> I'm glad well, we're here so we well, learned about fat burns. Well, and, uh, I'm going to Google search it. My question fat being bird. on toilet paper is like, obviously, back in the day, because you're. <laughs> Like with evolution and stuff, you want to see fatbergs? Know, there wasn't always toilet paper. Like, how did yeah. people clean their butt before? That was pop was the most popular method. It'd be like leaves and ponds. Well, that's and what stuff. I was wondering. Well, in the Roman times, it was sponges, so natural sponges. And You're asking the questions that I do. We cut <laughs> <and they're laughs> <clean them. laughs> But before that, this is a kicker. So, say the atmosphere gets small levels of cinnamon along with oxygen and nitrogen, and I have a cinnamon allergy. Other people who are allergic to cinnamon and I would have died off if this would have happened during most of human history, thereby keeping the human gene pool from a potentially deadly genetic disease. But now we just have to invent the cinnamon breathing machine and people would be fine. I've never seen anyone misspell cinnamon that way. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. It's Google or Google Doc. Did cinnamon. C-I-N-E-M-O-O-N. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. That's <laughs> would you say that Brandon is the most unable to write? That was, that's company? amazing. He spelled it right also, but then he spelled it cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's part of the question. To your credit, Google does not think that word is misspelled. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, that's probably why it was. Sounds like a kid's cartoon. I uh, check, look, I look for red squigglies, and if it's not. They thought it was a proper, like, someone's Mr. name. <laughs> Alright, so, um, so has technological evolution replaced biological evolution in humans? I guess. So, I mean, we don't really have... Sorry, my microphone is ramming into my chin. Apparently my chin is more interesting than me. Um, so we don't have... Cinnamon as a well-known isotope in the atmosphere. Well, right, but if it, but that's what I'm we saying. do have much more relevant things. Um, so, for example, diseases um, have. You could have asked, and it would have been a great <laughs> question. Um, have we got to the point where we've managed to technologically mean that we can live with diseases that previously would have killed us? Mm -hmm. Which is essentially the question you were asking. Which is a valid question, a very interesting one. Congratulations, Brandon. Well, if um, it's only no, 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 per, let me. Yeah. Why cinnamon in particular? No, well, no, it's just yeah, why uh, cinnamon? if it would only affect a certain group instead of those that group continuing to procreate with everyone else, they would naturally die, right? Thereby eliminating the problem. Whereas now it's exactly we can keep the same them from as a dying. disease, but more less likely to happen. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> for example, 
when Gus's disdain for hanging out in groups instead of a commute. This doesn't even make sense. Oh, I probably started editing and then I got distracted. Would Gus's disdain? <laughs> would Gus's preference for hanging out alone instead of in a community wipe him out during caveman times? Well, firstly, yes, there was selection on personalities. Interestingly, humans aren't the only species in which we see personalities. So a lot of my friends study great tits back in Oxford because we've got a big word where we study all the great tits. These are um, Wait, what? <laughs> great Chris. tits, you know, right? Y you know about great tits, right? That's another question. Gavin, what are great tits? It's a bird. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Because uh, no, <laughs> yeah. I had actually a question about great tits. Great tits, yeah. Uh, that, yeah. yeah, you did. That got cut. <laughs> but no, but Oxford <laughs> has some tits. great tits. Uh, has some blue tits as well, cold tits. So um, they're, they're a small perching songbird um, that comes to your garden. Um, and but they have pets. Spelled, and uh, that's why I've been kind of stumbling get, trying to get through that. Yeah. Okay. Humans and dolphins feel pleasure for sex. What about all other organisms? Do dogs feel pleasure? If is that why they <laughs> hump so, legs, or are they taken over by pheromones from females in heat? So I guess, do other animals procreate for recreation and not just for making uh, making babies? So there are other animals that procreate not just for making babies um, that have sex. So a lot of the time you'll have sex as a kind of power struggle almost. So in bonobos, they famously make love, not war. They have sex every time they meet as a way to settle hierarchies within the group. Bonobos are relatives of chimpanzees. Mm. They're a type of chimpanzee. <laughs> well, um, the idea of instead of like, oh, you and me, let's take this outside. It's like, <laughs> let's shag this out. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad. So um, hyenas, the females have an enlarged clitoris called a pseudopenis. So essentially the, the, the women have dicks. Um, pseudo dicks. Pseudo dicks, and um, but that makes life easier. <laughs> the females are more dominant than males, so you have an alpha female leading the group rather than alpha male, and the males have to fellate the female each time they meet as a kind of dominance thing. Mm. Seems like a super outdated term, pseudo penis. Why? Isn't that a bit sexist though? But it, it's like a penis, but it's not a penis. I'm like Googling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so a female hyena could, the, the, could the, the literally big, say suck my but, dick. But the weirdest <laughs> thing is though, so it may sound good that you're getting blowjobs all the time if you're a female hyena. They also have to lay their live young through their dick. Oh. And in many cases, their penis oh, rips man. in two oh. and they bleed to death. And many of the... It's like when a banana splits, you like grab possibly, it Possibly, and, and many of the cubs actually suffocate inside their mother's dick. As it's split in half and bleeding out. Yeah. It, the kid can't even breathe. If it doesn't split and it just gets that stuck. As an evolutionary scientist, how the hell did that end up like, this is the best way to make babies? Rice nose, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, look at each other like, think this, this is, is a really <laughs> stupid route to go down, right? Yeah. Like, let's just have a route where most, first, well, not most, but a large number of first-time mothers die. But apparently it works. Well, there are a lot of human, humans split a little bit too, don't they? Yeah, you get vaginuses. Um, <laughs> oh, what? When the tissue between the vagina and the anus splits, so it just becomes... Why would it do that? Because you're pushing a baby that out. That happens and I had no idea. That's disgusting. Why Your was childbirth is disgusting. Yeah, I'd heard, I've never heard of vaginus. Have you not, oh, you I'm should not, live I'm with not, I've heard of this. I never have heard that term. Yeah. So it's like, the taint is gone. Yeah. No, degooching. No, you, you've been degooched. <laughs> <laughs> Does it just burst or is it like a slow Is it like Hulk Hogan like ripping off his shirt? Oh, and it just splits? <laughs> the baby's ripping it off yeah. his way. Ah! <laughs> Imagine having a... I don't know, a basketball coming out of your mouth and your <laughs> cheeks ripping. It's that kind of... It's because it's stretching so much. Like a burr constrictor. The tissue just rips. Yeah, burr constrictors are the side of their bodies will... The skin will split. Really? Oh, yeah, if they eat too much... Like, you'll... <laughs> I mean, it's okay if it splits. <laughs> like, there's a picture um, of Hulk Hogan being born. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, one, so the it, world's <laughs> most famous vaginus right there. <laughs> no, just imagine his nipples and anus, and it all makes sense. Yeah, just like that. So does it, does the female, uh, the pinochloris, uh, pinochloris, does it, it the splits like a banana, right? Does it heal back? Uh, no, no, they normally die of blood loss. Oh. Yeah. There's no Do they know that they're getting into this? Do they know what they're getting into when they get? Probably not. 
I don't know. They're like, you didn't tell me this, is it? Like... Well, all the ones that it happened to died. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, uh, who is this? On Twitter, at very manly Luhan says, God damn it, my vagina is literally hurting with the thought of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah my, my gooch started hurting. While we were talking gooch about did? That. Yeah. Okay. Here's another one. <laughs> There's two more Brandon ones. First, next one from Brandon. Were dinosaurs the best at evolution until they weren't? They... <laughs> they... It's better. Uh, they really get good. kept getting bigger and bigger <laughs> over a hundred million years, and then they starved when the asteroid hit and limited the amount of food available. Could that happen, people? <laughs> oh, it's... I like no, it makes you I know sound like an idiot. It's because I deleted <laughs> fat people. I deleted the word fat. So could that happen And I people? guess I, I <laughs> forgot so to re-edit it. I was like, that's unnecessary. <laughs> that fat people Probably humans are going to get wiped out by a disease if we don't all kill I've each I've been other. saying that for years! If we okay. don't do what? I've we been saying you're, that! You've been misspelling it too. <laughs> if we don't kill each other first. No, it's... I yeah. feel... I feel... Um, what about robots? What about them? I mean, how viable do you think they are? How As exhausting a... must this be? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, like... You, you went to school to answer, what about robots? Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, you're saying, uh, I agree with you. Uh -huh. Disease and, you know, or like a bomb or something mm -hmm. is going to kill us. But also, I think robots could be like, you know, a thing that kills us. It could be. I wonder if it would wipe out every single last human. Hmm. Well, so here, you're talking about a bomb or yeah. like each other. Yeah. Like us wiping out each other. I could see us building a robot to destroy each other. But yes, yeah, so, and then so, and then but then the robot also then just like essentially, we if we each built like super, uh, you know like bombs and robots. I mean, a like, bomb is a machine, right? And yeah. a, and a robot is a machine, and so I guess it, it's it just like depends on where you draw the, the line. Intelligence. It has a face. Does no, no, it? Oh, no, no, no. God. It's like the intelligence of, of of how smart is this like thing this machine that we build. So I suppose what you're asking is, is it, could we build something which we didn't intend to kill us but ends up killing us? Yeah. To Whereas ask a Skynet. bomb would be something which we intended Tended to, to kill. kill. Yeah. Uh, so could we build something that it d we didn't intend that could kill us? Yeah, I mean, cars. Um, but I, I don't know, I just, I think we would probably... I think humans are more stupid than robots, and I think that humans would end up deliberately using it to kill people long before the robot decided to kill people. Chris, I have a question for you. Yeah. If there was a race of robots that wiped out the human way <laughs> the human race, what would they do after they they'd done it? What do you think they'd get oh, up to? Oh man, I guess power down, <laughs> <and> chill. <laughs> they would just rest. I don't know. I mean, what, what does a robot live like, for? They would want to fulfill whatever their I own. I guess. Well, here's were. the thing: is yeah, I feel like if the robot so desired to kill humans, they would have a plan at that point. Where like, well, now that the humans are gone, now we can do. Uh, what does have a robot, robot want? What does a robot want? I guess is the is what you're asking. Yeah. Deep down, when we you know. I, I suppose a robot, I guess a robot might have some, it'd have to have programmed some sort of like happiness. What? This is the best moment of the podcast. <laughs> you think it'd make more <laughs> this robots? This is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to figure out what robots want. I mean, like, this is really deep right genuinely now. genuinely thinking really about deep. what do robots want. What is the meaning of life? <laughs> I like taking Chris and having him face a bunch of doors and just be like, <laughs> you, you said you like taking Chris and then making him face a mirror and he's like looking at himself. It's like I were a robot. Um, so I've, we've got one more question from Brandon. Before I get to the last question, I do have one more thing to read here. Okay, the final question from Brandon. <clears throat> I can't wait for the errors. Uh, this one actually might be okay. Let's see. Um, was sex between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals considered taboo? Oh, there was no. There was no. Uh... Was it all spelled correctly? Oh, oh, there, there was an alternatively actually. Alternatively. How much did Homo sapiens and Neanderthals get it on? Ah, oh, yeah. Was it like a every now and then, or is it like, you know? I love this question. Oh, you did it, Brandon. Oh, you like all of my questions, though, right? This They're one in particular, though. This one in particular, because this is actually a hot topic in evolution right now. Like, is it? I am currently here in Austin for an evolution conference, and there have been talks on this topic. So what did you guys come up with? So. <laughs> You haven't done it? I want to know how much just goes in a cup or something and send it. No, they use spit into yeah, into a little tube. I mean, it'd be quite difficult for women to do that. To do what? Throw a cup into a cup. I was just talking about spit. Oh, okay, cool. No, he said gob, right? What'd you say? Anyway, I don't even know what a gob is. 
<laughs> Apparently mouth. it's splooge. No. No, you spit, spit. it. Spit. Your gob is gob. your mouth. Yeah. No, your gob is your mouth, and you can gob on someone, and you've spat on them. <laughs> I mean, okay. they both work. We're, we're, making, the Brits, we're making the Brits fight now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never gobbed on someone and be like, yeah, oh, you just gobbed on me? No. I'm from Oxford. Stay posh. <laughs> I'm from Oxford too. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, what we're learning is Gavin just makes up words. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's he what we, that's what we the always. Whole, oh, like, it's just because I'm British. You, you Americans won't understand. That's why we, you're that's what we, my secrets. Always <laughs> secretly suspected <laughs> this. It's it's all unraveling for you right now, <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> He's getting called. But out. no, I I think that gobbling on someone is a northern phrase. All right. I mean, I, I'm yeah. open to all. Language. Do you even, really make even the north of England? I use your slang sometimes. Yeah, is it it's not fine. Really, is, is it prosy? No, no, no I, I had to text northern them English and have the weirdest phrases ever. <sighs> That's just the north for you. Like my favorite, my favorite word of all time is bung. Bun. Bung. Okay. I just bung it over there. Is that not a thing? They never say bung. What? No. No. What do you use? Toss. He was asking me about bung the other day. You toss it over there. Yeah, you can uh, toss it. No, it's bung over there. All right. Back to the back to the real question. Here. <laughs> okay, this one actually uh, is from Brandon. Also, it got tacked on to one of my questions. Oh, it was an optional. You didn't have to. No, say no, it. it's good. Okay. Why will water kill us if we drink too much? Make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, because your you, basically your question was why do but, we have to drink so much water? Yeah, and then I asked if vodka sodas count. But but why will water kill us? Like it's something that they say the human body is made up of whatever percentage of water, and that you need to drink all this water. Why is it something that's like so necessary and that's a part of us? Why can it kill us if we drink too much of it? Because otherwise your brain will explode. Pretty much. So you know how cells make up the human body? And a cell yes. is a bag, a membrane bag with a load of water and shit in, in the middle. Am I allowed mm. to swear on here? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> uh, so check afterwards. You um, said vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> that's not swearing. It's not um, really PG, is it? <laughs> Um, oh, and so, I almost just spit take. <laughs> I'm remating as much as possible. And so if she's too busy chomping down on his body, then he's, she's not going to be, able to, she's not going to be remating while she's busy eating. And her breath would smell like dead dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh, I, I don't know. That wouldn't stop me. I don't think. There's a pretty girl. Christ, Brandon. Looking at you. Wants to mate, dead <laughs> dude breath. But isn't that why dicks trade off have the helmet for like scooping other dude di other uh, come so out? <laughs> some uh, penises have barbs and spines. Um, so dams or flies and seed beetles in particular. If you look up seed beetle penis, um, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Seriously, this is forever. It's full of spines, and they use it to scrape out the sperm. No, this isn't right, is it? Yep. That's what the on earth? That's like a Ridley Scott movie. Um, Hold on, I'll, I'll pull it up, up here. Yeah. So take a second. I gotta... Okay, so what you can see in orange, so all of it is the penis that you're looking at. This is an electron microscope. So I'll, I'll get it here in just a they've second. They've colored it in false color. Um, and so, yeah, so they want to scrape out the sperm from previous males. So is that not the case in humans? Uh, humans used to have penile spines. But why do Cats we have have penile spines? If you look at your cat, why do we have the bell end? I don't know. I thought it was. I heard. I that thought it's because thing. it was to like go a, in. It's like, fine, and then it and to come out, out, you're pulling material out. Yeah, that's what I, I heard. Same thing. So here we go. So the kind of the beige yellow stuff. Those are spines on top of the larger penis. Um, that's a wicked looking dick. By that the way, that penis is a mess. And yeah. It will use them to <laughs> scrape out the sperm. It's like a weapon from Game of Thrones. <laughs> you think that's a weapon? You then get um, love darts. So slugs and snails have love darts, which are little, um, literally dart-shaped spiny things that they shoot pheromones into the female's body with. But the spine, they, they don't go all the way around. Does no. it mean it spins? Uh, like a drill? I to... don't think it spins. Uh, I know that in bed bugs, you have traumatic insemination. Where they're just like, who needs a vagina? I can just stick my f penis through her body wall. Oh, God. Um, and it's called traumatic because, yeah, if it happens too much, she dies. Um, <laughs> this is exactly what I studied, by the way. I just don't, I don't just have she, a really weird obsession. She died how she with, lived, uh, full of dicks. <laughs> 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 
Oh. No, this is yeah. exactly my area topic. It's Dark. sexual conflict. Conflict between the males and the females. Because all these males are just like, oh, I saw it. Stick it anywhere. Okay, and there are also dogs, right? Who, who, there are dogs. Who, like, after sex, their penis swells up so they can't dislodge. Oh, so right? there are definitely slugs. I, I heard about where this. they have to bite off their penis. But then it becomes female. <laughs> then it can actually live as a female so, slug. So they're always hermaphroditic. But once it's bitten off its penis, some of them have more than one because they're biting it off so many times. Uh, it then can only perform the female roles. Um, and why, why would it bite off its penis? Because it's, it gets stuck. Um, and also like, if... Like oh, a, like 127 hours? Where you like, yeah. yeah. Um, but also, again, back to the... You want to stop another male from mating with your female. Uh -huh. If her vagina is bunged up, it's either of, with your penis or with a copulatory plug, as we call it. Um, you left your tampon in, love. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> uh, so other animals secrete copulatory plugs which seals up the female's vagina after mating so that she can't then go and mate with the animal kingdom is just a, an awful place yeah it really is isn't it mm -hmm. especially if you're female yeah yeah traumatic insemination yeah, yeah i don't i don't no mm -hmm. let's let's not deal with that so if i was having sex and as i a human? as a, yes okay. as me and i just chopped it off mm -hmm. and it was like in there i'd be like haha not gonna, she's not gonna, I like think, that's the idea, right? Like I, I, I leave uh, it and it's stuck I in mean, there. And I'm like, I, mean, I, I would bet that she probably wouldn't have sex for a while, but only because she'd be traumatized. But the dude just. The trouble like, is though, is that depending on whether you're a shower or a grower, the blood would just flow out and it would just shrink. And, and just fall, fall out. out. Yeah, you're, you're what, not wait, 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 what if I tied it? <laughs> After I cut that could work. Here's a question. Or they made a balloon it. animal out of it. Yeah. I have a, wait, I have, I have an you important snap question. it off. You blow it. <laughs> Tie it. Why? Why are some people showers and some people are growers? I am the <laughs> wrong person to ask that. I don't know. See, Chris. Gus. Why? <laughs> Chris, what's your theory? Well, I, well, I don't know. I have. Um, I reckon it's blood chamber size. Blood to chamber me, it's size. One, mm. I guess it would be a thing where it's like. Some what do you think the smallest, like since hitting puberty and being a man, yeah. what is the smallest your penis has ever been? Small man. Like an inch? As big as it is right now after we're talking about <laughs> biting off your own dick? Yeah. It's gotta be like a cold, like coming out of a freezing cold pool a cold or inch. something, and you're just like, just like... I, I, just, I hope no one ever sees yeah. it like this. This isn't gonna me. impress <laughs> anybody. Like, th I'm the only one who should see it in this, like, you know. I, I've had moments where I've just been like... Where is it? <laughs> What's going on? Seeing as I can't contribute to dick length comparisons. Unless you're a hyena. Um, uh, which <laughs> well, I'm not. Then you'd have a pseudo comparison. Um, <laughs> All right, well, I haven't, well. Did you know that the largest sperm is 5.8 millimeters long? Of a and, human? No. Oh. Of any animal <laughs> and comes from a fruit fly. That's three millimeters long. So How does that happen? Is it like Drosophila. coiled up it's inside coiled of it? It's coiled up. It's a Drosophila uh, bifurca. Is there only have like one? They they will only so in each ejaculate they will only give around in the order of I don't know twenty to fifty. So they're three millimeters long, and they'll have twenty what? to fifty five point eight millimeter long sperm in one. Yeah. In um, one go. This like is like the the, the come, come this is like come to life. Like if you had to fight a sperm that's bigger than you, <laughs> it's like theoretically I mean, they might have to the, do it. The egg is still about ten times bigger than the sperm, but yeah, I mean it are coils they, up into a neat little. How package. much bigger are the females than the males then? Oh, uh, they're about fifty percent bigger. You could Not be killed that by that. You could suffocate in it. You'd be strangled. <laughs> That's how did he die? <laughs> but it's actually, it's, you know how peacocks got their long tails because the females chose for nice tails. Mm -hmm. This is the females chose for longer tailed sperm. Really? Look All at right. My, look at my jizz length. <laughs> does he, you, does you know what I like? Long and stringy. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, what I'm into. And the longest penis relative. So this is absolute size. So it's, the fruit fly sperm is bigger than like any whale sperm. But relative to body size, the barnacle has the longest penis. Really? That makes sense. They don't really move around much. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you're not, if you haven't settled next to a female, you need to be able to. <gasps> so is it longer than it? Yeah, a lot. Many, many, many times. Fascinating. Well done.